This country, under this APC regime, came to become the poverty capital of the world. It became the place where the minimum wage became the miserable wage for workers. But if you think about Nigeria itself, uh, it's an open prison. Hey guys, uh, this is uh, reaching out to you guys after that whole drama at uh, the police abattoir today in Abuja. I have just uh, reached my first destination tonight after the disgraceful outing of the police. As usual, they asked me uh, to produce a statement over this criminal you know, the woko told them i don't have any statement to write they eventually showed up with some charges uh about three charges on cyber stalking <laughs> it was a uh, just very ridiculous you know i mean if you live in a country where the police is for hire you are in trouble from the bottom to top and uh they engage in torture, harassment, and beating of uh, guys. You probably some of these uh, clips. It's just sad, sad. Uh, but you know the reason they are doing it since we declare they have been jittery. You know the APC, as I predicted, is falling apart already. PDP gone, and they are afraid of a real people's-oriented political party, and that's what AAC is all about, and that's what my candidacy is about. But we won't be distracted. Very soon we're going to roll out our campaign programs so that you can follow us, those who want to support, us who uh, want to join in. Please be ready. Don't let this disturb you. I'm used to this kind of harassment. It's just very sad that you are born in a country where criminals are in charge of law enforcement agencies. Uh, I service is what the police department or the police force is about. And that's what we are coming to change. Uh, maybe you want to take a look at my Buhari Must Go t-shirts. And that was scary to them. They said, oh my gosh, already you wore Buhari Must Go t-shirts to come to our office. You get mind, though. I said, me, mind? It is you people that have mind yeah, to come arrest me. Yes? It's you people that have mind to come arrest me for a crime that doesn't exist. I will say that. So later they said, well, you know, you have to do a bill. The same bill that they rejected, they went. After we did the bill, which was signed by another lawyer, of course, they now went and changed the bill condition to 500 million naira. <laughs> and it was just laughable. You know, they want to go and screenshot, screenshot it and get another 50 million naira from the idiots. Then they won't go who send them on this. They're just milking the guy. You know, he doesn't have sense. So guys, uh, that's the situation we're going to, I'm going to, of course, keep addressing you. They asked me to come back tomorrow morning. I invite you all 9 a.m. tomorrow, come to the Abateur police station. It's one of the police stations that led to the NSAS agitation. The kind of abuse and corruption that goes on in those places is mind-boggling. They even threatened to kill me police officers, you know. Why? Because I'm a Nigerian citizen and I don't deserve to leave, I don't deserve to ask questions. Uh, but at the end, uh, they couldn't hold me. I, I was ready, I packed my bag. I said, you know, carry me, go uh, detention now. And they looked me, hey, please help us bring a uh, short now. Help us beg, help us bring short now. I mean, we just... I said, I don't need short I don't commit offense. How can you say that? Somebody who didn't come in and bring shorty for what? I beg, they must bring shorty now. They must bring shorty now. That was what they did throughout. Anyway, I'm out and uh, the work continues. Uh, I don't think it stops, but I want to urge you guys not to let this. This is going to be around for a while until they get tired. They are going to try to distract me so that we don't campaign, but I want to stay on the issues. Issues that are fundamental to, uh, yes, issues that are fundamental to the future of this country. By the way, I heard the Boho was released while I was in detention. I want to wish him welcome back to the struggle. And the struggle. Uh, and of course, 
welcome back to another detention because Nigeria itself is a detention. And I, I don't know whether it's planning to come back or not, but if it does, uh, we're here and we have nowhere to go. We're not going anywhere until we resolve the problem of governance in this country, of a fault, of a forced federation, constitution, and all those things that are wrong with Nigeria. That's what we're here to do and ensure we get it done. I'm happy to have heard that a lot of you were fighting while I was there without my phone. Uh, on my behalf, but let's go back to fighting for the election. I've already declared, and these guys cannot provide any candidates that can take Nigeria to, to anywhere. All these are sick, tired, uh, retired candidates can't take you anywhere. So I'm going to say, please, let's focus on our work. And let me uh, greet a lot of you who have been around and who are watching. I don't, I don't know if I can greet all of you one by one tonight. It's going to be a long one. I see Manuel Larry. Uh, thank you very much. Afolabi Shego. Thank you very much for watching. Inspire Tattoos. Inspire Tattoo. Falashino Vista Dolaji. Thank you very much. Ayodele Monday. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Adiola. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Kunle Ojo Chris. Uh, watching. I don't know from where. Wherever you might be watching from, I'm just uh, happy to reconnect with you after some seven hours of you know waste of uh, valuable time but you know this is what they do when they're really jittery when they in this election circle when we were trying to do that they tried to arrest me that nigeria they use computer the leaders of nigeria they use radio where they turn the knob